Bible study today. We're going to be looking at a story that's pretty familiar to some of you. So if you've got your Bible, go ahead and get it. Start right in the beginning. We're going to be looking at Genesis chapter 25. So go ahead and grab that Bible, get it open. We're going to be checking out the story of Jacob and Esau. So I thought we'd start with a nice little quiz to get your brain thinking about that story. Uh, let's see what you know. Check it out.
So there we go. The story of Jacob and Esau, one of our first families that we see in the Bible. Some brothers who really have a lot to be upset with each other about. So what we're learning about today is as family members, we need to be okay asking for forgiveness when we hurt other family members. Now, you are part of a family, and I'm sure there's times when you've hurt other people in your family's feelings or done something wrong to them, and I'm sure there's times when they've some, done something that's wrong to you. And it's important that we learn to ask for forgiveness for those things, and also that we grant forgiveness when people do things that aren't right to us. So let's look at this story a little more in detail, okay? And so there'll be some pictures that come up eventually here uh, that kind of just walk us through the story. But in the story, remember, we have the parents, okay? The parents are Rebecca and Isaac, okay? So we got Rebecca and Isaac are the parents. Now, you remember they each kind of had a favorite. So whose was whose? Do y'all know? All right, I'm going to let you know. Let's go ahead and see who's whose favorite. Here's what we have. There we go, on the screen. Jacob and Esau were twin brothers. Esau was the older one, and he was an expert hunter and outdoorsman. Jacob liked to stay at home. Now their father Isaac, here we go, loved Esau. But their mother Rebekah loved Jacob. So Isaac liked Esau, Rebekah liked Jacob. Now, when Isaac grew old and could not see very well, he called for his older son Esau and he said, go hunting and then make me a delicious meal that I love. Bring it to me so that I can bless you before I die. Now, when Rebecca heard this, she came up with her own plan. She instructed Jacob to bring her two goats so that she could make a meal for her husband. And she told Jacob to bring the food to Isaac and pretend to be Esau so that he would receive his father's special blessing instead of his older brother. Now, this special blessing could really only go to one person, okay? And, and the father was being tricked on who he would give this to. So, Jacob did exactly as his mother was instructed. When Esau learned what happened, he was upset and he cried out, Jacob cheated me. Esau decided that he would kill his brother. But Rachel told Jacob to go and stay in another land with his uncle Laban until Esau was no longer angry. So Jacob stayed with his uncle for many years. One day, God told Jacob to go back to the land of his father, Isaac. Now, Jacob was afraid that Esau would still be angry with him for stealing his blessing. So, Jacob gathered gifts of camels, goats, and donkeys for Esau. And then Jacob sent messengers ahead of him to meet Esau. When the messengers returned to Jacob, they said, Your brother Esau is coming to meet you with 400 men. So Jacob became even more afraid. He cried out to God, please rescue me and my family from the hands of my brother Esau. Then he reminded God of his promise saying, you have said, I will cause you to prosper and I will make your offspring like the sand in the sea, which cannot be counted. And Jacob looked up and he saw Esau coming with his men. And as Jacob approached Esau, he bowed to the ground seven times. And Esau ran to meet Jacob, but instead of greeting his brother with anger, he threw his arms around him. And together they wept. And Jacob told Esau, seeing your face is like seeing God's face because you have accepted and forgiven me. So it was like seeing God because he actually forgave him. Now, a lot of times, People do things that, to us that are so wrong that we think, man, we could never forgive that person. But the bottom line is God tells us we need to forgive. And that, that doesn't not include our family. That includes them as well. Okay? Now, the tricky part is, you know what? You're around your family more than you're around anybody else. So there's probably a good chance that that brother or sister 
might be the one person that aggravates you more than anybody in your life. I am aware of that. Okay. Um, and so what happens is you might need to forgive them more than one time. Okay. There was a parable about an uh, unmerciful uh, servant. And in that parable, uh, Peter asked God, he said, God, how many times am I supposed to forgive? And, and God told him, Peter, 70 times seven, which is really 490 times. So do you think that the amount of times we have to forgive our sibling is 490 times? No. What he means by that is continue to forgive. And this is a great lesson for us because as we're thinking about that, and here's the thing, are you going to, are you going to have your brother or sister steal your birthright or anything like that? Probably not. Are they going to say or do some things to you that are mean? Probably so. Are your parents going to slip up and every now and then might discourage you in some sort of way? Maybe so. Are you going to be mean and maybe raise your voice to a parent or call them an ugly man? Maybe so. But it's important that not only when that happens, that we forgive when we are done wrong too, but we also, when we do wrong, we ask for forgiveness. Um, here's a cool little video about some people your age that have maybe had some things going on in their life that hurt their feelings or that made them upset or angry. And then it goes to show what happens when we forgive. Enjoy this video. She said I was mean. She made fun of how I look. He stole something from me. She lied about me. She said I was being a baby. He cut in front of me in line. He pushed me down. She said I was annoying. She talks about me behind my back. She left me out. He made fun of my family. She told on me. She invited everyone but me. He said I'm not his friend. She said she didn't like me anymore. He called me a loser. She hurt my feelings. He lied about me. She said I was dumb. She said I was mean. He called me a wimp. He didn't he made fun of how I love. He told he me no one likes me. me. She lied he about said she didn't want to be friends anymore. He said he hated me. But you know what? I forgave him. I forgave him. I forgave her. I forgave him. I forgave her. I forgave her. I forgave him. I forgave her. I forgave her. I forgave him. I forgave her. I forgave him. I forgave her. I forgave him. I forgave him. I forgave her. If you forgive others, you will be forgiven. You know, I love the idea of that being erased right off the chalkboard when they say they forgave them. Because when we do things wrong, we ask God for forgiveness, they are washed away and they're gone. Uh, they might have some consequences still here. Like, for instance, if we do uh, something to our brother or sister, we might still get a punishment for it. But the sin itself is washed away and forgiven. Okay. So let's not forget that we need to, when we hurt family members, we need to ask for forgiveness. And here's another quick verse for you. Uh, just as you're thinking about this, maybe one you want to look up or commit to memory. Good memory verse for today, a bonus verse. is Colossians 3, 13. It says this, Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you are also to forgive. So remember, God gives us forgiveness. It's important that we forgive as well. Not easy to do, hard to do. But we've been talking about families. So this week, my challenge for you is this. One, I want you to think of maybe one thing that you need to forgive a family member for. And now the harder part, 
one thing you might need to ask a family member for forgiveness for that you did. Pray, ask God how he wants you to do those things, and ask for forgiveness this week, and let's also forgive. Enjoy your week. Hopefully you come back and join us in Brick House. Thank you.